Hi everybody, welcome to the Fiber Friends podcast. I'm Cheryl from My Needle Crafts. Hi everybody, I'm Louise from Up Flower Wool. And we're here to talk about some knitting. Yes, we've got a new challenge starting next week, next Friday. Yes, we do. Our October challenge is the try a different craft. That's something right. that you've never tried before, something that you haven't done in a long time. So many things. Do you know what you're going to do for the challenge? Um, I think I'm going to do some English paper piecing because I haven't done any in like, I don't even Forever? know how long. Yeah, it seems like it, like years. I make like, these, I brought, I actually brought my English paper piecing I stuff. I did too. Did you? Ho, ho, oh, look at that. You've got, fantastic. Yeah, I haven't done it in a long time either. I picked it up and did a little bit at the end of the summer mm -hmm. just to start on a new pillow project. I might... <clears throat> Do some drop spinning too. Go oh, right on. Mm -hmm. I have no interest. Oh, I think you should. Yeah. Maybe I'll convince you. No. Maybe you can try it. Uh, have you ever tried it? No. I don't know that I would have the patience for it. <laughs> you you have patience for everything else. <laughs> Why would you not have patience to spin? I, but I really don't. Okay. <laughs> what? You might think I do, but I really don't. Yes. And the and the perfect time is coming up because. Wool stock yes. is in 16 days. You're on the countdown. This is two October 1st. Week, two weeks from tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. We'll be we'll be at Wool Stock, our first fiber festival in two, two years. years. Yeah. Two years. Two Crazy. Years. So you're vending. I am. I'm teaching. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a great weekend. Yeah. And anybody who's local to us, if you're coming down to Paris on the 16th, stop by in my booth, my needle cross. I am in the agricultural building in the center aisle. So stop by and say hello and say, hey, I watched the podcast and tell me who you are. I know that'd be fun. I'm going to hang out with Cheryl in the morning. My class yeah. starts at two. So up until then, I will just be visiting with you. Yay! And yeah, chatting with anybody who comes and visits. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Fun. It's going to be so much fun. We're going down early Friday. Well, Friday to set yep, up. Yep. Two o'clock or three o'clock on Friday we get to set up. So we'll get done. It doesn't take me long because I don't put any product out till Saturday morning. So we'll get Just the get table and set everything set up. And um, yeah, then we'll go and chill out and do our Friday night live from our hotel, hotel room. room. Sure. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. It is. It's gonna I'm be a excited. great weekend. There might be cocktails involved. Oh, well, well for me, not you. Not. But I, you know, I'll bring you a mocktail of uh, cider. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a great weekend. It is. It is. Yeah. So, okay. So, other things. I was thinking about what if people needed suggestions for the challenge. I have a whole list of things in my head. I should I actually bet write it you out. Do. I have got, okay, so the crocheting, which I kind of took that box off last month in September. Mm -hmm. Snowflakes, I actually made another one. Nice. Because I'm a little obsessed with them. I didn't make any, because that would involve going to buy a ball of white. Yeah. I bought two more. I, I, I'm obsessed with this white, softy, chunky. I was showing my daughter and so she thought white. they were even cool that we could like make a garland or something with them. I know. Yeah, I might have to go get some. Yeah. I just, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. What was I talking? Oh, my, okay. Your list. My list. So crochet, Tunisian crochet, hairpin lace, um, tatting. So there's shuttle tatting. There's needle tatting. I have that little two inch loom, the little weave it or weavy mm -hmm. looms. Mm -hmm. I could do that. I have got blocker hooking. Have you heard of that? No. It looks... I've never, I bought, I bought it a few years ago at Woodstock. Well, Woolstock, when it okay. was in Woodstock. I think I remember you showing it to me when you bought it. Darn nuts. Not Stupid manufactured yarn. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Oh, well, I'm just going to ignore it for right now. I'll cut it out later. Um, yeah, so this Paul from Craft Barn Canada. He and I, well, I met him at this booth. We just kind of bumped into each other. Because, you know, when you're at fiber festivals, you see all these people that you know. Well, anyways, the woman at this booth was gave us a demonstration, and we both bought a kit of what I don't really even know. I just know, 
I don't know, there was a rolled up piece of fabric, kind of like bread cooking kind mm -hmm. of thing. And she showed us how to do it and it seemed, you know, like something that I thought I would like to do one day. So I have it somewhere. What else? I feel like there's, oh, needle felting. Yep. Needle, needle felting. That is something that I have always kind of thought I'd like to try just cause I, I don't know, I think it's cool. So there's needle felting. So yeah, you're taking you the fiber the, yeah, with and, the you, needle. and you poke yeah. it all. And then there is <clears throat> needle punch. Yeah. Punch needle, which is. I tried that. Like I punched like six times into the fabric and thought this is weird. And then I never did it again because I didn't like how it looked. I, re I really which like I, it. I know that that now that I've watched a few things about it, that that's very common, that it doesn't start to take shape and look how you think it's going to look right away. You got to give it some time give and some do time. a bunch to get it, you right. know, looking like you think it's going to look. So I may give it a try at some, I'd really, I'm a, a visual learner and I'd like it, somebody to show me, you know what I mean? Yes. Like in person, show me How what, to. what you're doing. Well, so I, I just know see. with yeah, the <clears throat> needle punch, I try, I, cause I tried a lot. We experimented a lot a while ago mm -hmm. and you need to have your fabric plays a big role. It mm -hmm. has to be something that is like a tight, tight weave. Yeah. And depending on how big your your punch is and thick your yarn is, all that yeah, has to jive, right? Yeah. Well, I bought a little kit from Michael's, so I'm sure okay. it's just, you know, not the best of <laughs> well, qualities, but I thought just to try it, but I didn't care for, yeah. It anyway. didn't work. Oh, that's too bad. Because I, I know, because I think I just went to Fabricland and bought some cotton or just some remnants or something that I had at home. Okay. But then either my yarn was too small, but it just, you, you, it punched. And when you like punch it through, so you're punching through the, the weave of the fabric, right? Yeah. And then, so you punch it through and then the fibers must kind of like close yeah. back up on it, right? To hold it. Yeah. And so what I had, it didn't do that. Like you just punched oh, and it, it just fell in, right? Oh. Like it just, so there was. You needed a tighter whoop, yeah. uh, weave. So it was, it was fun learning because we tried on different, different fabrics and some worked and some didn't. And if I can find it, I have got to, that's great, big, huge, industrial size. I have it somewhere. I wonder if it's in my basement. Haven't seen it for a while. <laughs> I will have to see if I can find it. What is it? Well, it's a it's a needle puncher, but I'm not sure if it's for like making rugs because this oh. thing is huge. It oh, looks okay. like an ancient <clears throat> torture tool <laughs> kind of thing. It is really kind of crazy looking, but it's big. And I've decided, you know, I like everything big, big size, like my snowflakes. I love it. That's funny. We're like total opposite because I like making little things. I know. And I like big. I like big. So I am obsessing over these snowflakes. I bought a couple more balls because I knew, I know some people are going to say, well, Louise, you've got all kinds of white at home. And I do, but I want them to all match. I want all the shades of white, mm -hmm. all my snowflakes to be the same. Yeah, so, it makes sense. And I think I got four or five snowflakes out of a ball. Right these use a lot of yarn. Oh, I imagine. They use a lot. So I've got one ball I've got so I could do the chain or my, my little cord mm -hmm. for my garland and a ball to do for more snowflakes. And you're doing, are you going to do your cord the same color? I think I'm going to do my blue or something and then do white snowflakes. Are you, I was thinking for this one, I'm going to do a white one. Yeah, right on. I'm thinking I might do a bunch because yeah. I like liking doing That's cool. Them. When I have some free time, you know, after full stop. I've, yeah, the next couple of weeks are busy for you. Yeah, there won't be much to show because it's going to be, well, this week already, just trying to get um, in a place with orders where I can start working on stock for the show. I've been working like till 9, 10 o'clock, three nights already this week, so. Busy, busy. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see. I um, So talking about crochet, I told everybody that I would show my pumpkins once it got to be October. And it's October 1st. And it's October 1st. All right, let's see these pumpkins. So they don't look like pumpkins yet though because they're actually just circles. So, they, they so I, 
so the pattern that I started with. Can I see one? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, what? Oh. Tea Time Pumpkin Coaster Crochet Pattern. And you can't even see it because it's a crappy black and white picture. But this is the pattern that I used. Tea and it does have a coaster. stem and a it does have a stem that goes on it so I, here's some better pictures of what it's gonna look like after that's a big one at the bottom but then they turn out kind of like this so then you just crochet another little zoom zoom yeah, zoom thingy so and when, make it a when little you're stem. doing this edge around here you just stop and don't do two of these bumps and that's where your stem goes on so I had I had been working on another one right here. This is a finer yarn, and I got to this point where now I need to put my stem. I think I need to do one more and then put my stem on. But. So what color are you doing your stems? Are you doing them brown or green? Well, so those ones that oh, you have. Sorry. The one that fell on the floor. Drop one. It is <clears throat> Lion Brand. It's called 24-7 Cotton. I've seen that either. Yeah, and it's, Michaels. It looks like it's chain plied. Yeah, it feels it feels sturdy. Yeah. So I had bought this color and then I got this green to do the stems. So oh, that's nice. I don't know. But I also have so I have a whole grocery bag that I have all my cotton like look at this. Patents Grace or equivalent colors. Are these all the same thing? Yeah. Oh no, those are flowers. I'll show those in a sec. Hold on. Okay. This is in my bin when I get bored. I'm trying to figure out as I, if I know what this is. So I had bought this brown color too. So oh, that I, would look nice yeah, as a I, stem. I hadn't decided which. I think either the brown or the green. I had, would do my stem with, I don't know, if you look at a pumpkin, the stems are kind of green, but kind of mostly brown, I think. And then it depends how long they've been sitting. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I bought some yarn to do pumpkins and I bought orange. And I grabbed a little ball of, um, I, I was at Michael's and by the checkout, they have all like the little, I don't know, knick-knacky things kind of thing. Yeah. And they had little balls of craft yarn and there was a nice shade of brown. So I yeah. grabbed it for that my That one's called stem. taupe. But the green list, I've seen that them done with green grass. stems too. Grass, well, geez, they got exciting. And this one's called tangerine. Okay. Let's see if I can. Am I right? I I'm. Oh, you want to know how many rounds? I think there it's. Are? I think it's four. I think it's one, <clears throat> two, three, four. Yeah. So three rounds, and then you're. So the center, and then a this, and a this. Oh. What? One, two, three, four. And these are done with the magic circle thing again. Just like we started this one. Yep. Just like the. Um, yeah. And Round your finger and pull the loop yeah. through under. Yeah, and then they're all double start. crochets. And I think the first round is so many, and then the second round is a single. Oh no, they're all doubles. You do two in every. So you're two in, in yeah. every loopy. Yep. Yeah. So two in every stitch, and then the next one is two and one, two and one, two one. For your increases. Oh, I can see that. Two, yeah. one, two, one, yeah, see, two. Look, she can read crochet. Yay, she did it. So, Oh, this is exciting. So, yeah, I was just turning these ones oh, into just regular orange coasters instead of... So that's what pumpkins. you would actually use them for? Yeah. Is, put, is put, put them, them on, on your table? And sure. Were you gonna, would you put them on a, a bag? Did you say you were going to put them on a bag? Not these, no. Not these ones, no. No. The flowers, though? But I did, yeah, before, long before those, I was making, um, so this is with, um, that's not the same kind. So I'll put, I'll put the name of this pattern here, if anybody wants to do this. Anybody's familiar with the Patton's Grace. It's 100% mercerized cotton. I'm, it's like a, what? It's nice. Patton's Grace is nice. Yeah, is this like a, it's a, a three. DK? A DK? Yeah, it's a three. Yeah. So I had done all these flowers because I thought that, <laughs> I told you when I start something, I just keep going. I'd made all these little flowers and I thought that I would put them on, applicate them on some bags. And these would go on bags. Maybe, but never got that far. 
some pretty colors. I should have done the centers hmm. like a different color. I could put a button on them or something. Oh, a button or a bead. Yeah. They're really pretty. So now I'm trying trying to decipher this. I have a feeling like this is why my crochet gets stuck here. Because there's, I don't know, there's a center. Done the same, yep. Centers, double crochets, more double crochets. The very outside one, I think, is like yeah. a half. Like how there's to like get a, the petals. There's a single crochet, then a double, and then those might be triples, and then a oh. double and a single. Yeah, see, know. I knew I was out of my depth. As soon as I looked at this, I'm like, oh, this looks, <clears throat> this looks something I need to practice. Yeah, but they're, once you know a stitch, it's not hard. Yeah. And this one is called, these ones are, they're cute. Free crochet pattern. pattern. Oh, cotton flower coasters. And I think I just made them, they're probably supposed to use worsted weight, like the sugars and cream or yeah. your... Um, Handicrafter. Yeah, exactly. And a five millimeter hook. Uh, I don't even know where I got this from. Charmed by you. We'll see if we can link it. Yeah, it's I'll a see free if I can pattern. And of course my printout sucks. You can't even see the picture of it, so. <laughs> I think I would like to do flowers. I think I would like to do those flowers. There's only four rounds. My kind of Magic crochet Magic ring, pattern. 14 double crochets, and then two in each round. So I could try that. I could do this, couldn't I? And then a row of single crochets after that. And then, yeah. So then your petals on the outside are single, then a double, mm -hmm. triple, sure. um... Triples, triples, double, yeah. So, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm thinking here. So, a single, a double, a treble. Treble? Yeah. So, and that means, because every one of those has an extra, like, wrap well, and pull. it's just how many times you go through. Yeah. And it makes the stitch higher. Yeah, taller. So, is that what's making the shape yeah. of the petal is you've got a so small, a medium, stitches, and a tall. Yeah, and then it goes taller and then smaller. So, this is exact, so the same kind of idea for here, except these where we were chaining. Yeah, well, you're just and making then you were little attaching. loops to do it. Yeah. yeah, and this was three, five, and seven. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's the same idea. Yeah. Can you see the light bulb going off here? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Figuring it out. You know, really, like there's Figuring certain it out. things that you can do with crochet that you can never do with knitting right. and vice versa. I think this is really cute. <clears throat> I could try this. Yeah. So I have like a million colors of... That's fun. Oh my gosh. Every stuff. Every Maybe. time we podcast... Some more. Pink, that's pretty. Yeah. I always have to make another trip to Michael's to get. I like to buy. Oh, I need yarn for more. this. I need yarn for this. So after, so we talked about doing the Halloween, the Susan B. Anderson. What is it? Little witch. Oh yeah, yeah. The the witch, the hat, the broom, the cat. Right. And I said I wanted to do it big. Did you go buy yarn? Oh my, that's gonna be a big hat. Well, I'm gonna want. do. I'm gonna Hi. do the. I want to do the cat out of this. I have a visitor. Hello, Kelly. Hi. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I wish you could see him. He's like right up between us. He's just like wiggling his way. Are you hello. Up? Okay, this is the first time. I don't know he's if I can get him up or not. Been this so friendly. Come here. Oh, there he is. Hello. He's come to podcast oh, with us. Hello. Much. He had a bath the other day, too. Oh, so that's good. Oh, yeah, you kiss, kiss. you kiss mom. <laughs> anyway, so this. Look at this. That's Ooh, the blanket. The that big blanket stuff yes. that Adrian made hers out of, I think. Look. Bernat blanket big. Mm -hmm. So the Bernat blanket that we showed last week, all that those, those round funky things that I'm going to do Eric's blanket <laughs> out of. Hello. <laughs> I think he likes you. My goodness. <laughs> That is just Bernat Blanket. So this is Bernat Blanket Big. Yeah. Oh. So this is what Adrian used? I'm um, thinking it is. It yeah. looks the same. Nice. It is a number seven jumbo, 25 millimeter needles. And it's, you're going to knit a hat, the witch's the hat. hat I'm gonna oh, do the cat. cat. I'm going to do the cat oh, out of this. Oh, cool. Yeah, because it's just like a ball and a ball. Yeah. 
So I thought it'll just be. Yeah, but like, you want to do a smaller just, needle that calls for because you want it fairly yes, tight. Want it tight. Don't want any stuffing. Do you want down or what? <laughs> he is so comfy here. Just sitting on my lap. Oh, he's kind he's of not a lap dog. He's like, he's 18 inches long, his body from chest to butt. So he doesn't quite fit right across your On your lap, he kind of hangs. Lap, he hangs over the edge. Oh, but it's he's a little so awkward. <laughs> Oh, what a good boy. So anyway, this I am just waiting next Friday. I am casting on with this yarn. You're going to start that next Friday? Well, is it next Friday the 8th? Yeah, that's for the don't <gasps> do oh, the new stuff. That's darn. the weekend of the 20 whatever it is. The 22nd the to the 24th, I think. Yeah, I haven't changed the calendar Darn, yet. I got all excited. Okay, then this will wait. You'll have to wait. Well, I'll have to wait. To 22nd see if to the 24th, yep. Yep. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. <sighs> Darn, I'm so excited. That's okay. You can be excited. I'm sure you can find other things to do in the next three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I can. Okay, so yeah, so ne next Friday we have to have our different craft then. So I don't know. Hairpin lace is actually kind of... Is that the one with the little spools and you twist no, them all over? No, that's bobbin lace. Oh, yeah. Hairpin lace. I'll, I'll pull it. Oh, I've got a bunch of weird shapes. Yeah, there's like two. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna say pegs, but not pegs, but the two metal pieces, and it's joined top and bottom. And then you use a crochet hook. Yeah. And you. I think I have one somewhere because you know my grandma probably inherited all yeah. that stuff. And. Oh, what's the other one? <coughs> Excuse Broom, me. Broomstick lace, yeah. with the great big. And then you do that with a crochet hook too, don't you? Like the mm. big one and a normal one and do something. I don't stick know. Lace. I've never seen that. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. How many crafts can I do in 10 days? Pick a new one every other day so you can yeah. give it a good old college Get a good, good try. Yeah. So fun. So leave us some comments down below. I'd love to know what you're going to Yeah. Tell us what you're what going to What you're going to do. What are you going to pull out? haven't done. And is it something totally brand new? I'm thinking there's probably a whole, a whole ton of other crafts. I mean, I think those the ones I mentioned are ones that have been on my list. Mm -hmm. So, well, show us what you got in your hand because you know it's amazing. This is my new start Monday. You showed us this yarn last week, did you not? I'm pretty sure I did. It was the uh, the Karen Pantone. Yeah, those. Yeah, the ones that are all looped together. Yep, yeah, all the little 20 gram. And that's what I just, I wound this one from the skein into a cute little ball. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping to, this will should hopefully do me two pattern repeats. Nice. So there, I'm just starting. This is the last color. There was five colors. So there is the navy, this peacocky blue, the gold, this kind of steel blue, mm -hmm. gray blue, and then this lighter one. I like it. Yeah. So is this for your gift box or is this for somebody in particular? It is for a gift box for Christmas. Nice. I like it. Yep. And I'm happier with this because remember this yarn? They say it's it's a bulky. Oh, remember right. Remember we were yeah, talking about that's this? That's right. They say it's a this bulky. This is definitely like worsted or being yeah. made. Maybe an area. Maybe. Maybe. Because it's very, there's many plies. Yes, like a lot. It looks like there's like eight. We tried, yeah, we tried to undo it one, one time. Yeah, yes. well, look, here. I think there's eight plies. Yeah. And it's, you know, not super tightly spun, but it's really spun. Yeah. Like, look, I don't yeah. know if you can see all those. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot there. I know, so I, the first hat I did with this, I did it on a 5.5 because I thought, okay, maybe it's an Aaron, whatever. But it was it was it was loose. What are you it was using now four four point five. Yeah, I cast on with a four, and then I went up to a four point five. And is this a slip stitch pattern? It is a dip stitch pattern. Oh yeah, because that's below. Yeah, so you can see. Do you pull it down or something? What you no, do? You can't pull it down because you're already past. <laughs> so you start your first row of the first color mm. gives you your pattern. So that's where I am right now. So I've got four four rows of each color knit. So I'm just joining in my brand new color right now. I wanna see the back, yep. the inside. So the inside oh. of the dip stitch almost is like a, a V. 
So you knit over to where you want your little mm -hmm. dip of color to go, which I think I only have to do one stitch. And then I'm knitting into the fourth row down below. Oh. So what I'm doing is I'm counting the stitch on my needles, one, and then two, three, four, which should take me right to the very first row of yeah. that color. And, okay, I don't think I can do it back. Well, but you can explain it. Yeah, so then I'll show you. Yeah. So then you go in that stitch. Oh, you're gonna go, oh. And you pull oh, through so your knit. Oh, so you're just bringing, you're just sticking the needle in, grabbing it, and pulling it pulling through, it just pulling a loop through. Yep. Like so if you were crocheting, kind of. Oh, God. <laughs> so, but that makes a new stitch, and right. we don't want to increase. Yep. So, then so then I yeah. just slip that one, and then slip, slip, knit them together. Oh. And when you slip, slip, knit them, your new yep. color sits on top. You can't knit two together yeah. because that flips your stitches yep. the other way. Yep. And then the your new color gets hidden behind. Okay, it. so show it. So this loop is the one you pulled in from underneath. Mm -hmm. And then it was on your needle. And then you slipped it over with the, the next stitch and then knit them. Yep, together to lead that down below. Yep. That's cool. It's very, it's really easy. That is easy. very cool. It is very fun. How is it you know so many things? <sighs> That's because she never puts the needles down. Because I just keep trying different things. So, and for this pattern, I'm just going to knit three. And then again. You're going to do it again. Can I go? I can't see it well enough. But I'm going to go and follow this stitch down and put it through the center of that stitch. Towards the back. And then I'm gonna wrap it and knit it and pull it through. And there it is. And then just kind of give it a little tug so it's the same height. Now that made a brand new stitch. So I want, I'm gonna work these two together. So I'm gonna slip, slip it and then Go in, <laughs> trying to do this do, behind. Do so then backwards. I want to do a slip, slip, knit, and then knit them together. So I've got that new stitch and the next stitch on the left needle. They totally work together. And your new color sits on top, so it forms the nice little. So we need to get color. you set up with an above camera so you can do, we do an right? instructional video. <laughs> there. That's cool. And there you go. So there's two and they're offset. Mm -hmm. That's very cool. Yeah. I so like it. Something a little different. I could do different things, but then I would forget them. I can never sit and go, oh, I should do that pattern on a hat that I tried, you know, six months ago. <laughs> like, I don't remember how to do it. Well, I did this, I and I did that almost a year. I think January, February, I was playing around with this stitch and I did a cowl. Oh yeah. I guess if you use it, you make something, then it kind of gets ingrained in your brain because you've actually made a whole thing. Well, I've got this grand plan that I would like to eventually um, have like a wall of swatches. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. So I'm going to work on that. Fun. So yeah. Anyway, so that is... This hot pot, I really like and it. And did you, you just started this on Monday? I did. And it's now Friday? Yep. Wow, awesome. Yep, just been working around, doing a little bit. Just plugging away, because I want to have it done for Monday so I can model it. Nice. But I also finished my sock. Good. How's your booby sock coming? Oh, you, yeah, you're doing a booby sock. Not, I've got a Yes, I haven't sock. touched them yet. I'm going to pick them up as soon as I'm done these. And Ooh. before you get out, I yeah. made it to the ribbing. I Which hope is you because you're troop top top yeah. no toe toe, toe up <laughs> and I've made it to the ribbing so you I'll, are just about done I'll do an inch now okay. I've been so tired this week so when I'm tired working? working late I don't cross stitch usually so I just pick up and knit for an hour while I watch the news or whatever at, before I go to bed so I've actually got more done than I would have but so yeah look at that we are both. So they're, oh, look at that, they're like the same length. They are. What size feet do you have? I mean, seven and a half. Well, there you go. I wear an eight. 
So it's pretty yeah. close. I'm done. I just had, well, yeah. And I did my leg a little shorter this time. Maybe that's cheating a little bit. I did it an inch shorter than I typically do. Yeah. I always start my ribbing right where at the same length from my heel. This is where my heel is going to go. So that's how I know how far because I don't, you know. That's a good way. So, so it's I very to, yeah. systematic. So then I'll do my ribbing as tall as my toe. Like an inch and a half. So everything is equal. Your toe so and your I, ribbing's the same yeah. length. When I put your them, foot and when your I leg. fold them and I put them in my in my drawer, I fold them all in half and, and they, they all just fit perfect. <laughs> they're all the same. I like that. I have to say though, this last week I've been wearing my shorty socks because it's been cool, but not too cool yep and it's actually been all right once it gets cold and you know cold ankles i can't do that but just to throw a little then, pair of socks on to keep my feet warm shorties work well i'm wearing my two pairs of shorties now i think i need some more <laughs> well i can't because i talked about because i'm wearing my shorties today one of my pairs that i did and it was the this is the pair that i tried desperately to get a pair out of one <clears throat> excuse me one fifty gram ball a patent's cry and it's not quite enough no because i didn't have enough i i did the afterthought heel mm -hmm. and i think i did maybe two rounds then i did a little bit of ribbing yeah just enough so i could get <laughs> a pair of socks out of it and oh, they're so annoying they don't stay on because there's not enough uh, leg and not need, enough ribbing it needs to be did you do from the cuff down um, no, I did toe up on these ones. Oh, well then you could. Did I do uh, toe up? I must have because I'm sure should, I, I'm sure I, am. yes, some. yes. Cause I did, I cast off two different cast offs. Oh yes. I remember that. That's right. You I did just do, find an odd ball of leftover croy somewhere and just, um, make your cuff taller. Make my cuff taller. Yeah. Don't you remember the I've one pair I made? I took the cuff yes, and I did. knit more above the heel and stockinette before I started my ribbing. And I know those pair, I wore them first and they fit good. The second pair, they're not quite as tall. And after I wore them for like two evenings, they're, they're stretched out. They start to fall off. Yeah. Yeah. There is something. When I'm designing, I always think of the three Fs. Fit, function, fashion. There you That's go. what I think. Fit, fit, function, fashion, right? And so does fashion come last? Yeah, yeah. because that's, you know, fashion They're is like how, well, how, yeah, like how you, how you want it to look, how you like it to look. The function is like everything's there for a reason. The ribbing is there for a reason. Yeah. And people, lots of times people don't like a big, they just want like a little skinny bit. But that, their shoe or whatever. yeah, but that's the function. It's there for a reason, and you need to have enough ripping to hold, help hold it up, right? Mm -hmm. So, anyways, yeah, about that. I keep laughing at the dog because he's at the window to go outside. He's pawing and pawing, and he turns and looks at us. He's like, "Hello, let me out, Jordan. Can you come let the dog outside, please?" No. <laughs> no, oh my goodness. So anyway, that's what you can open the door and leave the screen. Have you worked on any other knitting? I did not. That's I did a bunch of cross stitch. I forgot to bring it in. Yeah, um, cause I worked, cool. I worked on my, um, modern folk embroidery, um, stitch along. Yeah. So remember I had finished July's and I got August's about half done, I think. So then I, uh, when I'm done August, I am going to put it away again for a little while because I want to start my Halloween. It's October 1st. Right. So I want to start. I have those two Halloween projects. And I'm sure everybody saw in the Facebook group already, but I dyed fabric for them. Do you want to see them? Yeah, show it again. Yeah, it turned out really good. I was really, really happy. Now, I've only ever dyed the fabric that I did at our dye weekend. Yeah. And I've been, you know, wanting to do some more for like forever and just, you know, don't have time, don't have time, don't have time. So the two patterns, I don't know if, I think I showed them that I was going to do. I think you did. So this was the one that's on like a gray modely background. And your fabric looks even better in person. This one. 
is the second one I picked up and it's just on like a dark blue background. So I dyed my fabrics with the intent for these two projects and I'm so excited about how they turned out. So that's the gray. I'm just going to stand up because it's a little easier. So that's the gray fabric. Look at the that colors. I chose or that I did. So that's going to be for this project right here. I think it's going to work out really good. Beautiful. And then this is the blue. So the modeling uh -huh. is showing up a lot brighter on the camera than it actually is because these are not as light as they look there. And then this is the... Gonna be it's going to be so pretty. Night sky. This is exactly what it looks like. Yeah, so those are my two fabrics. Yeah. Very well. I'm so excited. excited. So it's yeah, I really want to start those. I'm kind of hoping maybe this weekend now I'm going to... I have to work all weekend because I have 15 orders I want to have out by Monday. <laughs> That's my goal. So we'll Good see. Stuff. They're all cut out. I just have to sew. So I'm hoping to have those all done and out the door by Monday, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to work like 14 hour days this weekend. I'm going to take tonight. I'm going to chill, not work tonight but good hang so out I'm, in the fiber friends group with us yeah do our live yeah so i might start one of those tonight i think oh, i want to start fun. on the blue one because i just <laughs> love it the fabric's gorgeous so i might yeah. work on this a little bit yeah. more tonight that's coming along it's Look coming how big it's getting it's getting there i've just been trying to do a little bit every day i'm part way through the row so it's not really gonna be that's able okay. to but it's getting longer it's so pretty are we showing mm. the right side yeah I can see. I love it. It's so nice and airy and nope, drapey. We're not. Are we not? Nope. Oh, I was gonna say the ridges. I mean, it looks it's it's pretty much reversible, but the right oh, side no, has totally, little. Yep, yeah, totally can see a difference. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? It's so nice. And this is the loving path yarn. Wild child. Wild child. I know it's fun. Oh, I can't wait. And Debbie to is going to be at Woolstock. Well, her yarn is going to be there a hundred percent. So I haven't even talked to her yet to ask her if they're going to, if she's going to be there herself. Cause two years ago she couldn't make it. Yeah. She has uh, her son had some uh, theater stuff going on. So, yeah, or hopefully. she did. She, It'll be a reunion. Yeah. yeah we so have, we excited. always have fun times when the three of us do. I keep meaning to Fiber message Festival. her and ask her where they're staying. Cause I'm going to guess they're staying the night. So she might be there with her family too. Oh, fun. So we're going to yeah. turn this into a fun I know. knitty weekend. So exciting. Well, that is pretty much my sock, my shawl. I've got another shawl I started using minis. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring it though. So I'll show it to you next week. It's just not a little bit of a start, but it is fun. Cool. I'm loving it. It's a right fun on. knit too. I know I've got so many things. I think I'm just going to spend so the weekend just you relaxing. This lovely knitting. yellow bag here. Yes. And I want to see all the goodies you have in it. So my English paper piecing, this is a bag that Cheryl made for me a hmm, few years ago Yeah, now. about three years ago. These were my ultimate notions pouches that I am not making anymore because, oh my goodness. I know. If if I sh if we show it, you guys are going to just die. So it's got one. all these dividers in here with zippered pockets all crossed. Yes. They're awesome. It's that's my notions bag sits open on my table all the time with all my knitting stuff in it. So, and I just use mine for my English paper piecing. Wow, look at all the goodies you I've got going got on. Oh, wow. The a template. Yep, yeah, I've got a few different. <coughs> oh my Excuse gosh, me. I've got so many. Oh. Really, all I've done are hexes. Different. This is a two inch, but yep. I typically, there's I, the one inch. So you know my new cutter that I bought? Yes. I can cut out like 500 of these all in one swipe. Oh my God. <laughs> well, and then here's oh, are those little ones. All sewn ones. Up? These are, these are all, where's my new ones I'm working on? I have got a whole bunch already oh, look done. look at that. But these are the oh. new, the new colors that I've been working on. So, so there's the paper, <clears throat> the hexagon paper piece, and then I've just basted. So did you cut out your own fabric? Yes. Wow. Good for you, because yep. I'm too lazy to do that. 
I went and bought charm packs. This is my little bag. This was a little sample bag I made one time just for, you know, fun. Some pattern I got. Some, but here's my pieces of fabric. They're a pain in the butt to make too. Oh, look at you. So I just I just get fat quarters. Yeah. And then I got my pencil in here. And I trace around. And then cut them out. Yep, and then I cut them well, out. Well, look at you. My and then I stitch, and I actually like the basting part is my favorite. You part. need one of these. I should make you one. A little needle. A little look. for keeping. Yes, because yeah, where is the needle? Mm. So I have cut out. Do you cut out your papers, or do you buy them cut out? I don't cut out anything because I'm lazy. So I bought these. These are all pre-cut. Um, I can show you. There's some one inch hexes. The paper form's already all cut. I out. did buy some. Yeah. These are from um, Paper Pieces. I wonder if that's her. Paperpieces.com. Same as mine. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I got these in Shakespeare at the quilt shop oh, in Shakespeare. Okay. She has like all, yeah, see? Look at how tiny mine are. You oh, see how small those are? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, see yeah, I now. did some. They're cool. Half inch. See? You go small, I go big. So we, I this went to a, a, I went to a retreat with a friend of mine one year, and there was, um, it was just a stitching retreat for whatever kind of stitching. Most of the ladies were quilters because she belongs to the Quilters Guild, and um, there was a lady there working on. Mm. So these are half inch hexes, and she was working on some quarters. They were the tiniest things wow. I have ever seen, but. These, like, those are the little squares of fabric that I cut out to do half-inch hexes. So, yes, I did That's cut tiny. out some, but I don't cut them out in the shape. You don't, you I just, just cut, do you squares. squares. So then I buy these uh, little charm packs, I think they're called. Mm -hmm. These are two and a half-inch squares. And that's what you use for a two-inch hexy. So where, what did I just do with my... Which I'm guessing these are all two inch. They look well, the same size as mine. This is this is a, this is a one inch, but it is like like I call this a one inch. Oh, because the sides are one inch, but yeah. I bet you that's a two inches across. It's yeah, because this my big template is the this is see there two inch. Oh, I see. This okay. is this is a two inch. This is a one inch. One inch. Okay, so I get the two and a half inch charm packs to make the one inch hexes and they work perfect. So then with that, you don't have, you can just use your little square and you can just automatically just baste it around your paper cutter yeah. with no trimming. These ones are all, <laughs> I had one sitting here. Yeah, so. Yeah, so that's the same size as this. Yeah, I just fold it over. It doesn't matter if you got all, whoop, all kinds of extra and on the back it doesn't matter you fold it all over the same way as you go like one side at a time mm -hmm. yeah and then i use that's why i have all these little these quilters clips oh so okay. when i i cut my <clears throat> so what do i have here and you do yours differently than i do too because see how i sew mine so you're put you're going I just, right, I through the paper. right through the paper oh, isn't that cool see and i don't mine is you can pull yours out that way. Yeah. See, I can just Peel pop out. my pop my. Yeah. Bow. Later, I have to cut the thread and undo it. So I can just yeah, I can just pull it out. Yeah. I just cut the thread and just pull it out and then just. So when I take mine, I just take my. I'm not sure where my little. What did I do? Here it is. So here. So I just put this on top of my fabric. And then I just take my pencil and go around and cut it out. Yep. And then I cut it out. Then I've got my yep. paper form and center it. So then lots of times I do fussy cutting. So I make sure that I get yes, yeah, so get a right cool in the little center. design in the middle. Yep. So just center it, and then I take a bunch of these little clips. Yep. And I fold it over and clip it. Do you have a whole bunch? Oh yeah. And then I just work my way around, fold it over yep. and clip it. 
Yep. And then and you just it finger over. press it as you go and make your yep the points your, nice and make your folds all crisp. Yep. So I had done a whole bunch of these. I got Fun. a whole because I bought a a charm pack of something. I think it was kids stuff because look, it's got little bugs on it. It's cute. <laughs> But I had done one before. I did a couple of just fancy bags that I had done some flowers on. I have a few of the flowers made up too. But that one's pretty. So fun just yeah. playing with fabrics. And that's why I'd done the little ones too. I don't even know if I have a picture of a couple of the bags I made. So I did some little ones and I appliqued them on the side of a bag. That would be really they cute. They were fun, yeah. Oh, so cute. So, I know, so many fun things. I don't know what I'm going to do. Leave us comments below. Have ones. you guys English paper piece? Mm -hmm. And I'd love to, it'd be interesting to see, since you and I do them, do them every different. step totally yeah. different. And the basting different, the cutting out the fabric different. Yeah. It's not funny. This one's a Christmas charm pack, I got it. My actual favorite part of the whole process is just doing the basting. Yeah. This I can baste forever. Dots, different colors of with polka dots on them. Oh, that's fun. And then this one here says varsity, and I think it's like um, different ah. sports, maybe, but there's not really any. Just, oh, that's like a pennant, like a flag. Yeah. Hmm. But so I, I think just liked all the colors. Designing fabric would be an incredible job. It would be fun, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah. I might so have to do Do some you know? Ones. So I'm working on a pillow. That's what I started for these. I've got all kinds of shades of yellow, pink, and oranges. And I'm going to just do go round and round and round. Oh. And make a pillow. There you go. I wasn't gonna do yeah, I'm not gonna do a flower. I've started one project well, doing, you can just doing, keep doing joining flowers. Them together afterwards. Mm -hmm. You should get that one. Let's see if I can I started I started a project like this for a quilt for my bed. And then they'll all just fit together. Yeah. Or you can put, pick a solid color and I, you know, outline them all with solid color. So many options. Yeah. Hi. Kid home for lunch. <laughs> Time to go back to school. Yeah. Oh, so, so fun. Yeah. I like doing it. Now that I've got it out again, I want to do some more. Do all the things. I don't think I have any more. Uh, I'm going to try doing some pumpkins. I'm going to actually knit some pumpkins, okay. like round, like a pumpkin, pumpkin that you stuff. Oh. That's one of the things that I'm going to work on for this weekend. There's a couple people have knit some already and posted them in the Fiber Friends group. So you can go there oh. and take <laughs> a look. And I can, I'll try to, I'll find a couple patterns and link them in the description below if you're interested. Tis the season. Yipper. Start knitting some pumpkins. Yes. Or crochet. Yeah, or crochet. Pumpkin crochet. Well, we've had a successful week. We've got we lots have. done. Oh, I want to show you my new things I made. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, look at these. So these look are our these. new product. They'll be in the shop later. They're just little notions pouches. They're like four, so it's a four inch zipper. They're like four and a quarter inch square. <clears throat> just little. Cute little. Little oh. notions pouches. Just to, you can clip them onto your bag throw your little snips and some stitch markers or whatever. Look at those birds. Tape I measure. love that fabric. That's really pretty. Yeah, I've been wanting to make some of these. Well, I made Ooh. you girls all some for mm -hmm. um, for gifts last year, just to, you know, they were my test subjects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See how they like them and... And yeah, and these ones are a little bit bigger than yeah, those. Yes, because the, ones the other press. ones had a three inch zipper and I went to a four inch just to make them a little bit bigger. So I'm making these for the show and after the show is over, um, I will list whatever's left. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. This is just like leftover from like that. fabric that uh, one of my knit night bags were in. Oh, what a great but thing. But I ran out for knit nights, but I have just the, you know, a strip had of like six inches left over at the side from and cutting them perfect. out. And it's a good, good scrap busters. Good so. use of all your fabric. 
Yeah, so I'll list a bunch and of these. And it's great in because the, the one that you made for me, I use it all the time. Mm -hmm. I have it in my bag all the yeah, time. Yeah, Melissa loved her. She got two more from me, so. Yeah, because it fits perfect if you roll up a tape measure and a little pair yeah. of scissors, a, you know, darning needles, a yeah. few Just little clip it onto the side of your bag or whatever. And... Everything you need. Yeah. All right there. I thought they were great. Yeah. So, Super. yeah, after the Fleece Festival, whatever I have left over, I'll bring it home and... Sell. Bring them home and I'll put them up in the shop. My Etsy shop is closed right now, although I don't like to send people there. Go to my website. But I really like this one. I put on vacation so I can get caught. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get ready for the show. Fun stuff. Yeah, All right. Well. So cute. Anyway. Happy making. Thanks. You too. Hope yeah. everybody has a good weekend and a good... Uh, Good week next mm -hmm. week and we'll chat with you next week and that'll be the kickoff of our projects our new craft so i'll have to actually firm up what i'm going to do mm -hmm. and pull it out and get ready to start it friday night yeah fun stuff so mm -hmm. now house, if you know <laughs> so if you know what you're going to do for the challenge, you can start posting it in the Fiber Friends group. Put it yeah. on the, in the Facebook page and say, this is what I'm thinking. If you've got a couple different things, say, hmm, what should I do? Yeah. yeah. We can all start chit-chatting about it before we start. Okay. It'll be a good time. Well, have a great week, everybody. <laughs> He's crazy. On that note. <laughs> We're going to go. <laughs> See ya. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody.